Hello, it's Ben Tutorials here, and today I'm going to show you how to create a basic web page. Now you're going to need a few things before you get started. You're going to need a graphic editing program like Macromedia Fireworks. Paint will even work if you have that. A FTP program, which will allow you to upload things to the internet. A text editing program, preferably one that has syntax highlighting and not just your ordinary notepad, I'm going to be using Dreamweaver and Internet Explorer or Firefox, Firefox, whichever you prefer. Okay, so what we're first going to start off doing is going into Dreamweaver and clicking on a new HTML document right here. If you have already disabled the start page right there, you're going to go up to File and New and do the same thing. But now that we have this up, we're basically it has all these starting tags right here for you. Now this is what Dreamweaver automatically puts in. Now if you don't want to use the newest format, which is XML, I highly recommend that you take off this first line right here. Delete it. And then take off this line in the HTML tag. And so what this basically does is it gives you a clean slate. You're going to want to keep this so it makes sure that it's, you're using HTML. And so right now we're going to start coding our web page. Now how these tags work is that inside of them you want to make text. So say hello and welcome to my web page. Okay, so now you have hello and welcome to my web page. If you go over to the design tab, it will show you a preview of what your web page is going to look like. Now, this isn't that great just to have your whole web page. If you've seen really, really advanced web pages, it has to have some sort of graphic. So, if we go to our image editing program, which I'm using Fireworks here, we're going to say we're going to make a title right here. I'm going to call this Ben's home page because this is going to be like my home page. So we we're going to bring that down in size there and choose a font that we like. I'm going to use a nice like streamline one. Here, Ben's home page. And if ever something goes off the page and you can't see it, in Fireworks you can quickly hit Fit Canvas. And now we have our canvas here. We need to make it a little bit bigger though in order for it to look a lot nicer. So let's make this 500 and then raise the height to say 200. And so now we have a much bigger canvas to work with. So I'm going to put Ben's home page right here. And then maybe, to make it look even cooler, I'm going to go into our Filters tab right here and click on Glow, which is right here. And now what I'm going to do to make a really cool effect is select White here and bring this down to about 2 and put this at 0 and then put this up to 100. So you're basically trying to get 100, 0, 0 here and 2 and then White here. Now you can't see anything because the background is white and we're not going to change the background of it right now but for now we're going to add a drop shadow. Now this allows you to see it. If you take the distance and bring it down to zero you can really see the white now and that looks really cool. So we have our basic little Ben's homepage right here or whatever your name is. And so we're going to just make it look nicer by adding like a little effect here. Now I'm taking the pen tool. You, this pen tool is in a lot of the uh, advanced uh, image editing or graphic editing programs. And we're just going to draw a little line here. And so it goes off the edge there. And then we select it and we go to basic soft line. So we have our nice soft line right here. We're going to make this 
a white line. Now again, because you can't see that, we're going to add a glow to it. Bring the glow down. And again, it adds that nice little effect there. And we're going to go over to our layers panel and drag it down. So now it adds a nice little effect underneath it. And then we can add some text beneath it. Say, um, this is my online web page. Now we're going to select a different font right here, so let's do something kind of simple. Let's see, uh, here. And then we bring it down. So we have a nice little thing there, and then we can give it a neat little glow. Maybe a blue glow. Bring it down to zero so it looks a little bit nicer. So we have this is my online web page. So we have this neat little thing here, and then we click on fit canvas. So now everything fits. We're just going to move this over. And then I'm going to add my little thing here. By Ben. And so I'm going to select a small font. Actually, I like this one. And then we just, I'm going to take off bold there. And bring it down. Ben's homepage by Ben. <laughs> and so we have our neat little header right here. And so we're going to go ahead and save this. And, okay, I'll put it into my tutorials, which would be in... Let me find it for a second. Tutorial. Okay, so this is going to be our folder. And we're going to call this header. Okay, so we have our header.png. Okay, so now that we have our thing right here, we can go into our Dreamweaver, and we're going to go ahead and save this. So we're going to go File, Save As, and we're going to go down to our tutorial folder, like before. We're going to call this Index. Now, it's very important that you call it Index or Default. It won't work otherwise for your main page. So we're going to just leave it as index there and click save. Now that we have it saved here, we're going to do a uh, quick, and we're going to insert this image here. So instead of having hello and welcome to my web page, on top of it, we're going to add an image. Now instead of doing the whole stupid Dreamweaver image thing, we're going to write IMG. Now this is your first HTML tag that you're going to know. This is how you make an HTML tag. You hold shift and then you press your where your comma and your period keys were. They look like carrots, like sideways. And so that's what that uh, character is. And so we have image and then we're going to type source. But we're going to abbreviate it with SRC. And then we're going to put equals we're going to put a quotation mark, and then we're going to put header dot png. And now we have our basic image source right here. If you go over to design, you'll even see it, that it's up there. And let's say you didn't want that to be right next to there, this hello and welcome to my web page thing. You want it to be beneath it. And that's the one thing about HTML. It's not WYSIWYG. It's not what you see is what you get. So you actually have to put a break or a line break. And you do that by typing the caret, br, and the end caret. So it says br. Now if you go back to the design, you'll see that it has appeared beneath it. So let's go ahead and upload this. So we open up our FTP. And I will reconnect. 